Wow, these are some good ones. Uh, we got would increase the terms of state senators and state representatives. Essentially, uh, they would get to last longer in office. I'm sure a lot of people are going to vote against this because they're going to figure that um, that's corruption of government where they can just stay there indefinitely. But it's not going to be indefinitely. And, you know, I can kind of see the argument for monarchism. Um, because if we keep them in longer, then it is more incentive for the voters to get it right the first time around. And it also leaves less room for corruption because, uh, you know, they don't have to worry about being voted out right away. So it isn't... It, is, it doesn't bother them to vote it against the party, you know. So um, there's that. The only reason why uh, the politicians are so corrupt is because they have to appease the party and the lobbyists that are bribing them. So with lesser term limits, I think that they could be more inclined to be, you know, dicks to the rich and be heroes to the poor. That maybe I'm just thinking positively here, and you know, they'll still be corrupt assholes. They'll just be corrupt assholes for 15 years instead of 10, you know? So, whatever. I'll, I'll probably vote uh, to increase the term limit, but uh, I, I'm not going to hold it against you for not. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Would ask whether or not to drill in our state. Ooh. Uh, that's, you know, because all this bullshit about it'll boost the economy, that's bullcrap. Nothing's going to boost the economy. Oh, goody. You get a few more jobs where you get paid a shit wage, and the super rich gonna get to benefit from all that glorious oil. But meanwhile, gas is still like $5 a fucking gallon. So, uh, you know, you don't do this for the rich. You don't do it for the poor. It ain't helping the poor. So the only reason to do this, essentially, is, uh, you know, just to get rid of all that goddamn nature. Who wants nature anyway? Uh, you know, I might vote for this just so we can have another G, uh, what was it, BP? Yeah, BP oil spill. I almost said GP. Um, yeah, let's have another BP oil spill. That's always fun. Oh. Uh, then when there's more oil suffocating the fishies and bringing more pollution to the world, uh, maybe then people will wake the fuck up. Yes, I'm basically a Captain Planet villain. Uh, let's see, would legalize marijuana f for medical uses? Ah, this one I love talking about, and people get pissed off at me that I would not vote for medical marijuana. Why? Not because I'm against marijuana use. Uh, obviously, a lot of people seem to think I smoke it all the time. But because I know who would benefit. Would I rather money go in the hands of Mexican drug dealers or pharmaceutical companies? That's what this bill should be called. Because if you vote for medical marijuana, it's going to be so regulated and so strictly tightened that uh, marijuana will just go in the hands of the uber rich. They don't need to get any richer. Fuck them. So don't vote for this shit. I, I take this this one seriously right here because um, you would have to be a moron not to notice that marijuana will just become akin to painkillers and you know how painkillers get written off and you know do, do the doctors go to jail that prescribed you the false medication do the pharmacy companies go to jail for giving it to you no it's you who goes to jail do I care if you swallow painkillers and you weren't you didn't really need them of course not. You can do all the fucking drugs you want to. But the fact is that it is these real criminals who get to benefit off of it, but you still go to jail for, you know, doing what you want. So that's why I'm not going to vote for this bill. It, it has nothing to do with I think marijuana is bad, or, you know, I think it would somehow deteriorate society because everyone would be high. You know, that would actually be a good thing. I'd be glad if people couldn't go to work because they're fucked up on marijuana. You know, but, uh... But no, I, I'm not going to benefit the pharmaceutical companies and have more people go into jail because, you know, they were falsely prescribed med marijuana and they were stupid enough to listen to their doctors and believe the lie that they could get away with it. You know, because the doctor makes money, but you still go to prison. So think about that before you vote for this shit. Uh, what would require 10 years of legal practice to qualify for county and circuit judge judgeships? I don't believe in this either. Because, you know, why do we always need all these qualifications? 
You know, what makes them think that just because they have 10 years of qualifications that they'll be a more competent judge? By whose standards? Who sets the standard? If anything, we need less standards. I shouldn't have to go to law school for fucking four to five years just to, be, you know, become an attorney. I still have to pay for my own advertisements and shit. You know, the fact is I want to help people not go to prison and, you know, keep them from getting screwed over. That should be the incentive to be a lawyer. I may not, uh, you know, speak the most eloquently, but I would take the time to know the law and then try to, you know, make a, a decent case for this guy so the jury would be like, hmm, that's a good point. That should be the only job of a lawyer, you know, to speak on his behalf and try to word it better so that the jury doesn't, you know, feel like, whoa, that guy just looks creepy, so we're going to send him to jail, you know? Uh, increased percentage of votes necessary to retain justices and judges. This is an interesting one because uh, it would require a more, a larger majority to keep a judge or justice from being fired. Uh, I'll probably not vote for this one. I, wait, I probably will vote for this one because, you know, judges should be fired on a regular basis. Most judges are just so full of themselves that they need this. You know, the fact is that even when a judge does get voted out, he'll probably just get a job on Fox News. So, you know, fuck the judges, man. Uh, you know, I, I don't like how judges use their power to be dicks and be like, oh, you gotta rise and stand when I come into a room. But, you know, they don't use their judge powers to be lenient and make sure people aren't, you know, wasting their life away in jail. I don't like judges. I like attorneys. I respect the role juries plays, but I do not like judges. Uh, require Senate confirmation of justices and judges subject to merit meritation vote. I'll have to look into that one. I don't even know what the fuck that means. They, they do that on purpose. No court will be allowed to adopt rules and practices and procedure. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, would change the appointed position to an elected one. Would call for a federal constitutional convention to put a balanced bu budget uh, amendment in the U.S. Constitution. Uh, a balanced budget. That way we can cut more benefits and, you know, the rich continue to be rich, but the rest of us have to suffer because of the rich's mistakes. No, I would not vote in favor of that one. Um, there's more bills, but, you know, half of them have such weird wording that I'm going to have to look into them. And I don't want to make it look like that I'm incapable of reading. It's just, uh, it's, it's worded so poorly that you don't even know what you're voting for. And they probably, and like I said, that's probably by design. So, um, I'll get back to you.